Aptera Launch Edition Electric cars are a great alternative to gasoline-powered vehicles. However, imagine a global catastrophe that led to a complete shutdown of all power grids. This would be a problem for most electric cars, but not for the new Aptera Launch Edition. The batteries in this car can be charged not only from an external power source, but also from solar panels installed on the body. According to the manufacturer, on a clear day, the electric car can receive a charge sufficient for 40 miles of travel in just one day. If you only drive in the city, this is enough to avoid charging the batteries from the power grid. The car's range is 400 miles. Therefore, to fully charge the battery from 0 to 100%, you need to leave the electric car outside in sunny weather for 10 days. The electric car is dynamic, accelerating to 62 miles per hour in 4 seconds, and its maximum speed has been limited to 101 miles per hour. Nitinol Most likely, you would have seen the movie The Martian. And you most likely remember the scene where the main character rides a Mars rover on the surface of the Red Planet to upbeat music. However, in reality, it's not as simple as it appears in the movies. Wheels are the most vulnerable part of such a machine. In the atmospheric conditions of Mars, they quickly get cut by sharp stones. To give them the necessary strength, NASA specialists made them from a special material called nitinol. This is an ally of titanium and nickel. This material is characterized by its shape memory property. When small deformations occur, parts made of nitinol can quickly be restored to their original shape. In case of serious damage, the material can be heated to a temperature of 752 degrees Fahrenheit, and its shape will be restored. Tests for the new tires are already being conducted. Recently, information also surfaced that a bicycle with wheels made using NASA technology may soon appear on the market. Jet Suit Mobility and speed in completing assigned tasks are the main indicators in military or rescue operations. Currently, there are numerous models of aircraft, but none of them is as compact and safe as the jet suit. This intervention can really change the approach in various fields. For example, in mountain rescue operations, a jetpack can help reach the victim in a matter of minutes, whereas it could take several hours to cover the same distance on foot. The jetpack is also being tested by the British Royal Marines, who have successfully deployed troops from boats onto the deck of a ship. The jet suit has five gas turbine engines with a combined power output of 1,050 horsepower and can carry up to 317 pounds. With jet suit, one can fly three miles in three to four minutes. The suit allows the pilot to reach speeds of up to 85 miles per hour and climb to a height of up to 2.1 miles. Artificial Rain Low amounts of precipitation is the main problem in Middle Eastern countries, including the UAE. But now, managing this process is possible not only from the heavenly office, but also through earthly methods. In particular, rain can be induced by cloud seeding using drones. Yes, precipitation in the Emirates is largely the work of human hands. At the moment, the technology works like this. Clouds are seeded with silver iodide by shooting it from cannons. The devices are mounted on special unmanned aerial vehicles that are positioned directly at the clouds. Silver iodide attracts the smallest water particles, which, by joining together, become heavier and fall to the ground as precipitation. Since the consequences of climate change are worsening every year, this method remains the only way for Middle Eastern countries to save themselves from drought. Sharo MX-3 One of the most unpleasant aspects of motorboats is the noise and vibrations from the propeller's operation. Introducing Sharo Marine, an innovative looped propeller that you've likely never seen before. 
Instead of traditional blades, this propeller has unique loops that don't create turbulence during operation, resulting in almost total elimination of noise and vibrations. Tests have shown that the efficiency of a motor with the Sharo propeller increases by 9-15%. to Just imagine, your boat motor will burn 9-15% to less fuel, and your boat or yacht will travel faster. In addition, while each blade of a traditional propeller provides one surface area, each Sharo loop provides two. As a result, the vessel is better controlled and can glide on the water at lower engine speeds. Magnetized Target Fusion The main problem scientists face when creating nuclear fusion reactors is that the reaction inside them cannot be controlled for long. Even if this is achieved, the cost of such a reactor is not justified. However, it seems that this problem has been solved. Canadian company General Fusion has developed a technology called Magnetized Target Fusion, which will be the basis for a fusion reactor that generates energy by pumping molten metal through a heat exchanger with water. As a result, the liquid will evaporate and the resulting steam will rotate a steam turbine. This will allow multiple units to power large cities or heavy industry facilities. The construction of a test reactor is already underway at the Cullum campus near Oxford. There is hope that MTF will become an important source of sustainable and safe energy in the future. Eco Rocket Do you believe that a steam-powered rocket could reach an altitude of 137 miles? and achieve a speed of 17,709 miles per hour. It seems like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's a reality. Introducing the unique and environmentally friendly Eco Rocket, whose first two stages use steam as a propellant. The reusable first stage will use battery-powered steam propulsion to deliver the second stage to an altitude of 24,600 feet. At that altitude, the second stage will be launched to continue the climb to 164,000 feet. Then, the third stage will separate and the engine will be fired to deliver the rocket to an altitude of 137 miles. Unlike toxic, unreliable, and dangerous solid fuel boosters, the steam rocket is completely safe for both humans and the environment. Eco Rocket will not launch from an expensive spaceport but from water. In the first phase of testing, the rocket will be able to launch satellites weighing up to 22 pounds into orbit. In the second phase, it will be capable of delivering payloads weighing up to 24 tons into orbit. Solar Hydrogen System In the near future, hydrogen will play a key role in green energy. One of the most efficient ways to produce it is by splitting water into its constituent molecules. Engineers at EPFL have optimized the classic method of hydrogen production and built a solar reactor. This device can generate hydrogen from sunlight and water. The system looks like a satellite dish and works on the same principle. It collects solar heat and focuses it on a special reactor. In turn, water is pumped into the reactor, and the obtained solar energy is used to separate its molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. EPFL also captures two byproducts of the splitting process, oxygen and heat. Oxygen can be useful for hospitals or industrial use, while the heat passes through a heat exchanger and can be used for heating water or indoor spaces in a building. All of the inventions we have talked about in this episode are changing our planet in one way or another. If you found this episode interesting, please like and subscribe to our channel. In the next episodes, you will learn about many more interesting novelties from the world of technology.